Chris, thank you. 735 on your Monday morning. The work of a well-known glass artist returns to St. Louis next week. This week, I apologize. Fox News' Laura Simon joins us live from the Missouri Botanical Garden with a sneak peek of what people can expect starting tomorrow. Laura. Good morning to you, Ty. Good morning, everyone. We've been out here at the Missouri Botanical Garden all morning long enjoying the newly installed exhibitions of artist Dale Tahuli. And it is so cool to see this firsthand. Behind me is another piece of art by him. It is called the a Fiori... Fiori boat. Thank you. The Fiori boat, which means flowers in Italian. Correct. So Danielle uh, Zarella rhymes with mozzarella. <laughs> Thank you for that mnemonic device there. But you work very closely with Dale and it's really cool to have you in. So in case you guys don't know, he is based in Seattle. And so that's where all of this, these magical intricate pieces of art are made. And so Danielle, tell us a little bit about what went into this specific piece and then the 18 other newly installed exhibits as well. Oh, oh wow. So many things to talk about. Well, this piece in particular, the Fiori boat, um, What's interesting is Dale started composing these boats, putting glass into boats when he was preparing for uh, Chihuly over Venice, which is a, a back in 95, 96, it was a, an exhibition of, of chandeliers that he did where he hung them all over Venice. And he went to Finland and Mexico and Ireland and blew glass with glass blowers in all these countries. But while he was in Finland, he started throwing pieces of glass into the river that he was working around. And then, you know, piece after piece after piece and these young kids were out in wooden boats and they started collecting all the pieces of glass and tossing them in there and after a while Dale saw that and he's like hey that's a great idea so then he thought he would start composing these wonderful installations where he put in a number of different elements whether this one in particular Fiori again Fiori Italian for flowers so you see a number of lovely pieces that resemble things that might have come from nature all of them composed within this lovely boat and it's it's just it's stunning and it's it always excites me when i see all of the color and this particular uh this particular composition and each of these one thing that's wonderful to say is it's it's unique to this garden it's unique to M missouri botanical garden because when dale's working it's all about investigating the site getting to know it and then designing work that's going to fit and really complement the garden and, and show something new for the visitors. This is the newest exhibit out here since 2006. We have to wrap up here pretty soon. I told you these segments go by so fast, but why did you guys decide to take his amazing work out from Seattle again back to the Missouri Botanical Gardens? Why? What brought you guys back here? Well, you know, a lot of new things are happening at the garden now. You have the new visitor center, uh, the new conservatory. Um, things have changed here, so there's an opportunity to come back and do something completely different that was done in 2006. So if people were here before, they're not going to see the same work. It's all new compositions in terms of the setting. We brought out completely different artwork. We have pieces that have been designed for this space, such as the Lime Icicle Tower that you, sh you saw earlier today. That was so cool. Yeah, it's wonderful. So yeah, it was wonderful to be able to come back here and to visit this wonderful garden and do something completely different. Danielle, thank you so much for taking the time. This is incredible. You can come check this out starting tomorrow. This will be on display until October the 15th, and you can find more info about that and also how and when you can enjoy Chihuly Nights over on the Missouri Botanical Gardens website. We'll put a link to that, too, on our website, fox2now.com. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.